Hey guys, I'm here with my ocean salmon. And uh, this is just out of the pack. They came, you know, they're cut in two. You've got your salmon fillets here. They do have the skin on them. If you don't like the skin on them, you can take it off, but you can just, I prefer just to eat it right up off the skin. And that's how I'm gonna do it. Okay, what I'm gonna use to cook this is this Mediterranean citrus. I was I sent this spice. This is the Mediterranean citrus. And what this has is by the Spice Labs. They sent us a variety of spices, um, the, not just now, we've used it in the past. And this is what I'm gonna use. Because normally if you don't have this, what you could do is salt, pepper, oregano, a little paprika for color if you want. And you can use those types of spices. Some people use those, a little lot of dill on it. I'm gonna finish it off with a little fresh parsley in the back. I know I don't have a lot because my parsley is not as prolific as it should be. I am going to use a salted butter, make a brown butter in my pan, okay? Make a brown butter in my pan. Brown butter, you just cook down the butter until you see the, the milk dairy pieces, the little brown pieces will float to the bottom. Then put the salmon in the pan and cook it on like three minutes on one side, turn it over for two minutes, and then um, spoon the sauce. Now this, this, the sauce that I'm gonna make is also gonna be the comprised of two lemons, the lemon juice, two lemons, and the zest of one whole lemon. That is what I am going to do. And um, I'm gonna to get to that. So what I have to do, now you can, there's there's a lot of different ways you can cook salmon. You can cook it in the oven. You can use some honey and um, you can even use the uh, maple syrup and or whatever you want. But that um, this is what I'm gonna do. It's a lemon. You can add some more garlic if you like. Put some more garlic. This does have garlic in it, but you can always add some more garlic. And I, I may put a little garlic in um, when I put the salmon in with the butter. So I'll explain when we're doing this. When we brown this butter, as soon as it's, we see that it's separating like that, it's, we're gonna put the salmon in. But in the last two minutes of cooking the salmon, that's when I'm gonna add the lemon juice and zest. I'm also gonna add some garlic in there. And um, then it's done. Serve it with some rice and a vegetable, whatever, and you've got a really quick, healthy meal. And again, this is from Ocean. Perfect for Mother's Day presents. Send, you know, your mom, your grandma, your aunt, the person that's like your mom, a box of fresh salmon. Cook it for them. I know who would do that. Davida's son would do that. He would cook it for her too. What a good son. All right, let's um, get started. So what I'm going to do is get my zester. Okay, and I have a couple of different kinds of zesters. I have one that's like long, like a file, and then I have one like this, and I'm just gonna use this one. I, I like my file one, but I do have a husband that um, puts things away that he doesn't exactly use, and so, yeah, they get they get put somewhere. So what we're gonna do is, and I wash, the, wash your lemons. If you're gonna zest them, make sure you wash and dry them. Okay, so you're just gonna zest your lemon, and what zesting a lemon is just, Scraping the lemon skin. You don't want to go too far into the white because then it's going to be bitter, but you just get that nice yellow off and just keep going around. Like I said, don't go, you know, into the lemon because then you're going to get all that white bitter. You're going to get this nice citrusy flavor. And this is just, you know, you lemon and fish and garlic and butter, they all go so perfectly. And really it's not, you know, I know someone's gonna say, well, how much of this and how much of that? I can tell you two lemons, the zest of one. I'm going to use probably that entire stick of butter because I just like butter. And so remember now that you've got your zest on your back and my hands are clean. So you've got your lemon zest, do you want that? And you wanna have your lemons juiced and zested because this is a really fast process. I mean, like your, your salmon is not cooking there for 20 or 30 minutes. Let me just move you here because I've got to get my lemon squeezer. Okay, 
So you've got a lemon squeezer. I love these. I have been using these for years. And once you use these, you know that Jimmy uses them for the limeade. It's just the best. Okay, so what we'll do is parsley off. I don't care this time. Okay, cut our lemon in half. And now the thing is, people are always like, you put it like this, right? Actually, people say to put it the other way, this way. That's how um, that was demonstrated to me. And I am just going to put this right in here to with my uh, lemon zest. And I don't know if you can see me. Yeah, you can. Jimmy showed you this on the line. I'll show you. And you just push really hard. But I never found anything that gets the juice out of a lemon or an orange as well as this. Now, I can turn it around just to see. Okay, but when you do it this way, the juice runs all out. If you do it that way, and you'll see, there is like absolutely nothing left there. Okay, so if you put it that way, and the reason is because the juice is gonna go down. If you put it this way, the juice runs over. Okay, so. Nice, strong hands. It's good exercise <laughs> for your hands. And then just pop. And like, if you wanted to see, just to test it out. You see, it is just squeezed completely. So we'll do this one too. We really got a nice lemony, nice lemony fish. It smells so good. I love lemons. There's this dish, lemon, um, it's an Italian dish that my son would eat over his Italian friend's house. And he would say, Joey's mom calls it chicken lemon butter. Just like that, he said, chicken lemon butter. So I said, Josephine, you have to tell me about this chicken lemon butter. My son will cannot stop talking about it. And she said, okay, get a lot of lemons. And it was a lot of lemons. And he grabbed the lemons and garlic and butter, and then use like chicken tenderloins. Oh, it's so good, chicken lemon butter. When we would put so much garlic, on, it, it was great. I have to start making that again. It was like, so, everybody loved it, chicken lemon butter. Okay, so get this. So I'm gonna get my butter over in my uh, pan, and I will uh, come right back just as the lemon, you know, uh, the, the butter's brown and my little puppy was playing over there. So you see a little toy if you do, but uh, she's such a sweetie. Be right back. Okay, so I am browning up this butter in here. And, um, okay, and there's a shortcut you can do on the garlic that's really good. If you just buy garlic, it's already minced up in there in the store. It's really good to use. It's a, you know, Works great, and you don't have to worry about the prep, and it's all done. So I'm just going to put some of that into the lemon sauce. Okay. And then easy on that. Um, Sandy would say, don't be shy, but I'm going to tell you, take it easy on that, because I know I can get a little heavy-handed in that garlic, and everybody better eat it. Otherwise, people are going to be staying away from you. In the house. Okay, so we're going to just, usually you want to use a light color pan for this. Fortunately, um, I don't know where my light color pans are because my husband moves my stuff around. And so I'm going to layer this a little bit now. Don't want that butter to burn. Get. 
Jimmy's getting ready to go to that powerlifting meet at four in the morning. Hey, we could still be live at that time. But, so I'm gonna start getting my salmon ready, okay? And start bringing it over here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this beautiful salmon from Ocean. Um, there's a 15% off that you can get. Um, I'll link the video where I unboxed it in the description. And so you can use that code. So I'm just going to keep doing this. And it's a little harder to see the browning better, but we're getting there. And I know for the sake of TV, I'm going to rush it a little bit. TV for YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, but I can start to see some of the pieces running. I'll get a little bit more. Hope that you're having a beautiful Friday evening. It's private because um, I have to film this. So I had a brown butter, nice brown butter. So the butter solids, you see they're nice and brown. I'm gonna put that those salmon fillets in to that nice brown butter. Oh, guys, hold on a second. I forgot to tell you, you've got to put your, your seasoning on your, on your salmon. And I'm really messing up. Yeah. But you're going to season your salmon. Okay, hold on, I've got to pull these out. You got to season your salmon with that mix I told you about. And I am just going to cheat on this one over here and grab with some tongs because I see that's what happens sometimes. You've got to be really careful when you're working through the cameras and, and YouTube. Sometimes you miss something, and that's okay because I think that's what happens, you know, in a real kitchen. You make a mistake, but it, it's not that you can't resurrect it. So this has all my, you know, salt, pepper, oregano. Like I said, I gave you those spices. So no big deal, no big deal. So we're just going to turn that over now and let that finish cooking. No biggie, no biggie. We fixed it, we resurrected it, okay? But that's how it should look, okay? So we're gonna put that beautiful salmon in. And we're gonna, like I said, two, three minutes on that side, and then we're gonna turn it over. Okay, so we'll do that. And then we're gonna add our beautiful uh, lemon butter garlic mixture here in the, about the last two minutes. So not on this side, okay? When we turn it over and let it cook for about a minute, that's when we're gonna add our beautiful uh, lemon butter and hopefully we have that here and you can see this cooking okay I'm sorry because I you know what it is I got mixed up because my phone doesn't have enough storage space and my last installment just like clicked off which means that I can't record anything and I was like oh shoot I'll just have to go live on unlisted and then just um, take care of that, you know? So that's what I'm doing. We're just gonna go with it. Sometimes things, you make mistakes in the kitchen. Sometimes you can fix them. Not a big giant mistake that it was a little, you know? It's not a big giant mistake. Still gonna have all this beautiful butter and this lemon and everything. And you can change it up and really just change it up. When we get this um, turned and we add that beautiful lemon butter, then we're gonna start pouring that on to the salmon fillets. But we're just gonna keep cooking these guys in this beautiful butter sauce, brown butter sauce. Look how beautiful that is. 
beautiful salmon. Hope you can see how just gorgeous that is. And let that keep cooking. And now I'm going to start. I'm going to start adding some of this beautiful lemon garlic sauce. There's that beautiful garlic. Oh wow, that's really. Let's get some beautiful garlic over here. Let's get that beautiful garlic in there. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab. I'm going to grab this piece, and I'm going to just put them over real quick just to get that garlic around in that beautiful sauce. So much garlic. And I'm just going to let that cook for just a minute. And that skin is, uh, the skin, the fish is already getting flaky and done. It doesn't take long to cook this fish. Okay, and so I'm going to turn that around. And I'm making a mess here. Mediterranean citrus on this. Okay, and don't forget we're going to finish them off with some fresh chopped parsley. And how's that looking? It's looking pretty good. Now, what you want to do is while this is cooking, you're going to take some of this beautiful sauce and spoon it over onto your salmon while it's cooking. Okay, so I know you have to work fast, but try to get that delicious, delicious sauce. And then when you serve it, you're going to serve it with you're gonna get the juices out and serve it. And I'll show you. So good, so good. Okay, I'm getting ready to take that out because A little bit needs a little bit more there. See, it's not completely cooked, but whoops, that's um, yeah, tore that one a little bit. I'm just, uh, I just want the fish to be cooked, okay? I'm gonna grab that off. See, my, my salmon is not uh, cooked under there. So I'm just going to take this skin off. That's okay. And you know what I'm going to do? What am I going to do? I am going to, just real easy, put some spice. And you know what? I'm going to put some spice and I'm going to turn it over nice. This, this is really thick salmon. I'm going to turn it over Turn it over nice, and I'm actually gonna just, I might pull my skin off, because I don't eat the skin. And I know that's not the prettiest way to do it, but being that it's coming off, I'm just gonna take it off. Just gonna take it off, and I'm going to spice it up, and I'm gonna turn it over. Whoops. Hold on. And I know it might not be the way you do it or whatever, but I'm doing it. And it'll be fine. It's, in the end, it'll be fine. Let that get nice and cooked. So it's okay. It's totally okay. 
and this is the, you know, it's the back side of it, so that's okay. We can get, we all just clean that up. But this piece is getting, and I know, whatever. Now I think we're getting to down to business. So I'm just gonna let that get together and I'm gonna get some of my rice and everything while that's cooking up. It's totally okay. Um, I've got, I'll show you, I'm just gonna grab. here and I'm sure the haters will say oh my god you know what haters let me see you in your kitchen you're so wonderful you should have your own show I cook real life okay and I've never ever in my life professed to be a master at cooking salmon I don't cook salmon much I usually eat salmon out or I cook it on the grill I'm not a master at cooking salmon but I'll try it, right? So you get your dish over here with, um, there's some rice and green beans and mushrooms, okay? Whatever you like, asparagus. And then we're going to just make sure we get some nice. We want everything to be cooked really good. Okay, I'm not a sushi eater, so I don't want to be eating sushi. And I could see that these still down where it's really big is not cooked completely. And so I'm going to want to get, let me get a spatula now that the fish is getting flakier and it's kind of coming apart. I'm going to get a spatula to kind of turn that over. And, you know, it's hard. I'm trying to balance the camera. I'm trying to make sure you're getting the right angle. And it's, it's a little difficult, but we do what we can do. Okay. Okay. And that's her garlic. Okay, so I'm going to stop this for a minute. So I think we're finally getting to where this is getting cooked well. And I'm going to grab a piece of this and this. And I'm going to grab some of our sauce. And a little lemon butter. And I'm going to put it on there. And then I'm going to come over here and... You can garnish if you want with a little more, um, hold on, let me just bring you over here with a little more uh, lemon, but I'm going to grab a piece. Now look, let's take a look. It's nice and flaky and done. And so let's try a piece of this. Mmm. Mmm. That is delicious. That is really, really delicious. Doesn't have any fishy taste. Twitter told me she didn't think she liked lemon, uh, salmon. She would love salmon if she ate this. She would love this. Love this lemon salmon butter. So anyway, thank you. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you try it, and I'll put the code in. Everybody take care. Bye-bye.